In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can quickly load custom shapes instead of using the usual load and replace, etc. You can also load them via the libraries. Of course, in the first place, they actually have to be stored in there. Once you've actually stored them in there, then you can access them. How to store them in there. That's the key thing. So what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to show you is custom shape tool and pixels. Now I've got a shark here. There's a whole range of other designs. These are C shape designs available on the Graphic Extras website. But of course you can use any custom shapes. And you can just use it with the pixels option and just drag that out there. And you can see an example I've already created. But you can just simply just select and then drag over to the libraries. It will actually store it. Yeah. Right, you can actually see a plus sign that comes up and it'll just say background. Now you can right click and rename if you wish. Something like shark may be useful. And of course, one thing after that, you can use it any point in the future. So you can just simply just drag it from and it will just end up as a nice new layer, which you can just use. Of course, if it's a very big document, 5,000 by 5,000, you can just resize it and use it. Anyway, another option, if you're using the shape layer, so I'm just going to remove that. And what you can do, select the shape tool and shape. And you can create the shark again. And what you can do then is just drag that across there and you'll see a little plus, shape one. And it's just stored over there. Now sometimes it takes a bit of time always to display, display it and Sometimes also you can hardly see it actually. You've got the transparency in the black. Not so great. Right. Once it's actually stored there, of course, you can just bring that back. Double click on that. And now you've got the design. Just go over to the custom shape tool again. And you can see you can access it, modify it, and do much more. It's just a vector design as always. But another thing you can do, instead of just one shape, of course, you can actually have multiple shapes. So I'm just going to add a shape and you can of course give it a colour. I'm going to go for blue and you can add another shark. Not that they normally come in pink and blue, but it's possible. Right, and another shark. Just go for something and a green shark. Now, once you've actually got that, select all those shapes and then just drag that over to the libraries again. And now I'm just going to remove that. Just select those, remove all those. So what can you do then? You want to bring all the sharks back very quick and easy. Just drag them over there and double click. Now you'll notice one slight problem. If you go to the custom shape tool, you'll notice you can't actually access the shapes now, which is not so great. But you can quickly go over here to the layers and you'll notice there's a little option there cloud option you can double click that and you'll go into this and it's a PSD file in this case and you can select the individual shark so if you want to resize that shark I'm just going to resize it and maybe rotate it around and then I'm just going to go custom shape tool just show it's still a custom shape and you can recolor it now once you've done that and I'm just going to quickly save it, the PSD file, save, and it's updated. And you'll also notice now with the version CC 2015, it's updated over in this library as well. So it's updated across the entire Creative Cloud. So it's a great way of adding custom shapes. So you don't have to open the custom shape file anymore. You can just access them simply via the libraries. And like I say, it indicates it's a shape. And of course, when you rename things, just rename it that is a custom shape. Otherwise, sometimes it's not so obvious once you've got like background or whatever. I mean, obviously, it's got transparency, but still nicer if you actually called it something that you can easily identify. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.